Hi friends! This is Michael from Nexus Motion. How you guys doing? Well, I just posted a short video about relative flexibility as one of the principles of understanding pain related to the movement system. So this video is going to talk about the concept of relative stiffness. And when we talk about relative stiffness, we're talking about muscles and soft tissues, as, right, as opposed to uh, joints, uh, is what we talked about with uh, relative flexibility. So of course, here comes my favorite resistive bands. I keep this with me uh, a lot at the clinic because everyone can see and feel the easy concept of path of least resistance with the bands. So, a good example of the relative stiffness is when we do prone knee flexion test, which one exam tells us a lot of information, one of them being stiffness and length of the rectus femoris. So if the abdominals were like this thick gray band and the rectus femoris was like this pink band, I can easily flex the knee without any problem, right? But if the abdominals or like the pink band and the rectus femoris, this thick gray band, now during prone knee flexion, the abdominals are gonna get stretched first before the rectus femoris ever gets elongated. Right? So clinically, we'll observe this as either pelvic anterior tilt or a lumbar extension. Right? So prone knee flexion is only one of uh, the tests in the movement system examination, and there's just so much more to learn. So, come and join us for the fabulous lectures and lab assistance to learn about the movement system impairment syndromes of the lumbar spine, hip, and knee joints at the Los Angeles Movement System Seminar this August. And if you've already taken an MSI course before, please check out the WashU PT website for the advanced course, uh, the lower quarter course offered in St. Louis this October. I don't know if registration is open yet, but you might want to keep a close eye on it. I'll put the website links down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.